The icosahedron has 20 faces, all of which are equilateral triangles. So we'll proceed as we did with the tetrahedron. And that's the surface area of the icosahedron. The dodecahedron has got 12 faces, and each face is a pentagon. So in this case, we have to work out the area of a pentagon first, and then multiply that result by 12. And this is quite a, a lengthy process. So first of all, each of these triangles within inside the pentagon are isosceles triangles. And this angle here is 72 degrees. Now, we got that by dividing the, the revolution 360 by 5, which gave us 72. So what we need to do now is, again, use that area formula. That is... And then we could proceed and just work out the sine of 72 on the calculator and so on. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to work out the exact value of the sine of 72, and that's why it's going to take it a little bit longer. Triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle with the base angles, both being 72 degrees here and here. Now, by doing that and bisecting the angle ABC, that's 36 and that's 36, something quite interesting occurs, because that makes that side is 1, then these base angles must both be 72 degrees, because these are, these are isosceles, which of course uh, makes this one, 36 degrees, makes this one isosceles. So in this way we can uh, establish a, a, a value for, an exact value for, for y and x, and that will lead us to find out what the cos of 72 degrees is. Okay, let's start this off. And we know that y must equal x plus 1 because of the isosceles. Now, the other interesting bit is we can say that y over 1, so y over 1, must equal 1 over x, 1 over x, because this large triangle, ABC, is similar to the smaller triangle, BDC. And then on we go from here, just pure algebra from it now and in. Solving simultaneously. Now applying the quadratic formula. Now you see I ignored the other one because x has got to be as uh, the smaller side. You see a nice a bit of symmetry there. Now, in triangle ABC, AB was equal to Y, AC was equal to 1 plus X, and BC was equal to 1, and the angle ACB is 72 degrees. Now, we also recall what Y was from the previous frame. That was the square root of 5 plus 1 over 2. I'll be using that. Now, by using cos, the cosine rule, we can see that the cos of 72 is equal to that we replace the 1 plus x with y, because it's isosceles. And then by rationalising the denominator, and that's the exact value of the cos of 72 degrees. Okay, now back to the pentagon, and now we're going to find a value for x, knowing that cos 72 
for the previous frame is equal to root 5 minus 1 over 4. Now we can use the cosine rule. You see that the cos of 72 degrees must equal x squared plus x squared minus a squared all over 2x squared. And then we'll proceed. And that's the, uh, the final exact value for x. All right, now to finish the formula, we need to find the exact value of the sine of 72 degrees. So we can see here that the cos of 72 is root 5 minus 1 on 4. And setting up the right angle triangle, when we've got on the adjacent side root 5 minus 1, the hypotenuse 4. And we have to find out this value of p, and hence determine the exact value of the sine of 72 which we will do. So using Pythagoras' theorem, which of course means the exact value of the sine of 72 is equal to, okay, we're almost there. Now, we know what x is, and we know what the sine of 72 is, and we know that the area of one of those triangles is equal to a half x squared sine of 72. Now, just pop those in there. So the area of the pentagon is just going to be five times that. And the area of the dodecagon is going to be 12 times that. And the surface area of the dodecagon. And 12, that's 12 out of it. 16, which is 3 quarters. I forgot one little thing, sorry. I thought the area up here was a squared, wasn't it? A squared all going through here. Okay, we've got that from the a up here. We should have squared it right at the beginning. Sorry about that. And that's the formula the air surface area of a dodecahedron.